Hey guys, welcome to vtcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss angle of depression. So let me explain this concept using a rough diagram over here. So here we have a diagram where the object is placed in this position and the person or we can also say the eye of the observer is at a height of h units. So here the person observes the object and his direction of observation is in the downward direction and this line is said to be the line of sight. And then the angle made between the horizontal line drawn through the observer's eye and the line joining the eye to any object then such angle is called as angle of depression. So here this line is nothing but the horizontal line drawn through the observer's eye. So we can also say that angle of depression of an object is formed if the object is at the lower level than the eye. Now let me explain few examples on this concept. So here the given example is from a boy on a tower of 150 meters high the angle of depression of another boy is observed to be 45 degrees then find the distance of the boy and the foot of the tower. So now let me explain this using a rough diagram over here. So here let us assume that AB is the height of the tower which is 150 meters and here it makes an angle 90 degrees at the ground and here given that angle of depression is 45 degrees so here we get 45 degrees and also here the alternate angle will be 45 degrees at the vertex C. So let us assume C be the position of the another boy and here BD is the horizontal through B that is the point of observation and note that angle D BC is equal to angle BCA that is alternate angles and AC distance of the another boy from the tower. So here from triangle ABC where the angle is 45 degrees so we get tan 45 is equal to opposite by adjacent. So here the side opposite to the angle which is AB so we get here AB by the adjacent side AC. And now we already know the value of AB so let us substitute it. So we get here 150 by AC. And then let us equate this to the value of tan 45 which is 1. So here we get 1 equal to 150 by AC. So that implies we get AC is equal to 150 meters which is the distance of the boy from the foot of the tower. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example. So here the given example is a man on the top of a cliff of 100 meters high observes the angle of depression of the two points on the opposite side of the cliff as 30 degrees and 60 degrees respectively then find the distance between two points. So now let us draw a cliff of 100 meters and the two points on the opposite sides of the cliff. So here we have a diagram where AB is the cliff of 100 meters and the two points on either side of cliff as C and D which makes an angle of depression of 30 degrees and 60 degrees respectively. So here the angle of depression will be 30 degrees so we can also write an alternate angle that is angle C is equal to 30 degrees and then the angle of depression of 60 degrees and we get an alternate angle that is angle D which is also equal to 60 degrees. So now in order to find the distance between the two points that is the distance from C to D let us consider a triangle ACB. 
So in a triangle ABC there is an angle of 30 degrees. So we get here tan 30 degrees is equal to opposite side by adjacent side and here the opposite side is AB. So we get here AB by BC. So we already know the value of AB which is 100 divided by BC is equal to tan 30. So here let us write the value of tan 30 which is 1 by root 3 and here by simplifying we get BC is equal to 100 root 3. And now let us name this as equation 1 and then let us consider a triangle ADB. So from triangle ADB we get tan 60 degrees is equal to the opposite side AB by by the adjacent side BD. So we get AB by BD which is equal to 100 by BD which is equated to the value of tan 60 which is root 3. So that implies here by simplifying we get BD is equal to 100 by root 3. And now let us name this as equation 2. So from both the equations 1 and 2 we can find the value of CD that is distance from C to D. So CD is equal to BC plus BD and then substituting both the values that is from equation 1 and 2 we get here 100 root 3 plus the value of BD which is 100 by root 3 and here writing 100 as the common factor we get 100 into root 3 plus 1 by root 3. So that implies we get here 100 into root 3 into root 3 which becomes 3 plus 1 by root 3. So that implies we get 100 into 4 by root 3 and here by multiplying we get 400 by root 3 meters as the distance from C to D. So hence we can say that CD is equal to 400 by root 3. So this was a basic introduction on angle of depression. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to adcheckacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.